Howdy doody buckaroonies. Boy oh boy, something real exciting just showed up in the mail, which means I can finally start this project and I have been waiting for this one. This is the Pulsar 23 from Soma Laboratory. They describe it as an organismic drum machine and as weirdly sexual as that sounds, they're really not that far off. I asked the folks at Perfect Circuit to send me one to play with for a special project, and they were kind enough to loan me this for a few weeks to turn into a free sample pack in collaboration with my friends at Devious Machines. I really wanted to see how far I could push the sound of this using one of my favorite plugins, which is Infiltrator. If you haven't heard of it before, Infiltrator is a stupidly powerful multi-effects plugin. You can chain up to 10 effects together, each having their own controls and modulation, but what's even more powerful is the sequencer. The sequencer tab lets you rhythmically define when certain effects occur, making it an insanely powerful tool for processing loops or mangling one-shots. Infiltrator recently got this huge version 2 update, which brings a ton of new effects, new modulation options, and a massive amount of new presets. And believe it or not, it was actually a free update, which is insane for the amount of content it adds. I thought the sound of the Pulsar would make the perfect sonic canvas to get creative with and make a really unique sample pack combining the world of punchy, experimental analog drums and cutting edge modern digital processing. Okay, so the Pulsar is all analog and it has four different drum channels, but they're more like tone generators because they're actually pretty flexible. We have a bass drum, a bass or percussion generator, which we can swap with the little switch up here. We have the snare drum channel, and we have the hi-hat or cymbal channel. The Pulsar isn't just a drum machine though, although it's really great at that. You can use these generators as four drone sources, and in typical Soma fashion, it sounds absolutely haunting and really beautiful. It also has an onboard reverb and delay, which are great to add some spooky droney vibes or add some space and groove to the drums. Of course, with external effects though, it can sound even better. Because of this unique patching system that utilizes these poles and alligator clips rather than traditional patch points like these, you can actually touch different points and use your body as a physical patch cable. Interestingly, because your body is, you know, all meaty and juicy and stuff, it actually provides some level of resistance, which means that it gives a different sound than you would get making the same connection with a patch cable. To beef up the sounds a little bit more, I also ran the Pulsar through one of my favorite cheap little studio hacks, which is my Art Tube MP Studio. This is an extremely cheap tube preamp I picked up at a guitar center for next to nothing, and it has this crazy limiter circuit inside of it. Not only does it add that extra bit of juice and hair from that tube drive, but because of this limiter circuit, you get this super fat and punchy sounding compression, which sounded amazing on top of the Pulsar. The Pulsar definitely tends to skew towards this dark techno vibe, and a lot of things I got from it ended up feeling sort of samey after a while, but luckily Infiltrator came to the rescue and I was able to get so much variety out of this machine thanks to just this one plugin. I spent a few days recording out a ton of material from the Pulsar and got creative processing it with Infiltrator using presets, custom patches, and even stacking multiple instances of Infiltrator to get even weirder sounds. Infiltrator is probably one of the most powerful plugins I have as a sound designer, and not only is it useful as a multi-effects unit, it's also useful as just a distortion, it's great as a delay, It's great for reverb, and this update even has a new reverb algorithm I didn't even know about. It's really powerful as a combination effect. And of course, it can take anything to a whole different level by just being a general f my shit up machine. 
I wanted to make some loops as well, and the Pulsar has an onboard sequencer, but I wasn't really a fan of it, and I found it sorta of hard to get used to. So I whipped out my Oxy-1, which is one of my favorite hardware sequencers for drums because it has all sorts of different sequencing modes and tools it offers. The Pulsar has CV inputs, which means it can interface with other CV and modular gear. So I wired the Oxy up to trigger the sound generators on the Pulsar and made a bunch of different loops. These sounded really cool on their own, but running these through Infiltrator sounded absolutely insane, and I can't wait to try these out in some new music myself. Some of the most interesting sounds I think came from the new FFT modules in Infiltrator. These split your audio up into a bunch of little sine waves and then reshape it in all sorts of interesting and weird ways. You can use these FFT effects in tons of ways, as a spectral compressor, as an audio stretcher, as a weird shifting tool, and so much more that I can't really even put into words. These FFT effects on their own could be a plug-in, and I would happily buy that in a heartbeat, but having them included alongside a ton of other sound mangling tools, and the fact that they can also be used inside of the sequencer of Infiltrator is just unreal. It's like Devious Machines reached in my head and pulled out the perfect plugin for what I do. After all was said and done, I ended up with hundreds and hundreds of different samples, not even including all the ones I had processed with Infiltrator to create new sounds, and it was really hard to narrow it down to the best selection that made the final cut, but I'm really happy with how the sounds turned out. There's a bunch of deep, dark kick drums, interesting processed hits, super crunchy and weird loops, and a lot of other goodies inside you can use on their own or layer with your other favorite sounds. Hardware instruments are a lot of fun, and experimental hardware devices like the Pulsar and experimental plugins like Infiltrator are just incredibly unique and take you on all sorts of interesting sonic journeys. Using tools and sounds like this is a refreshing way to maybe just take a step back from what you know and instead spend some time exploring new ideas. I've really wanted to make some dark techno lately myself, which I've never done before, and this pack and this whole experience might be what takes me over the edge to try it. With that, maybe it's time you got a bit out of your comfort zone as well. You never know what you might find. So that was my experience working on this pack with this big blue dingus here, and I'm gonna be sad to see it go. A huge thank you to Perfect Circuit for loaning me the Pulsar for a couple of weeks to make this pack possible and play around with it, and of course a massive, massive thank you to Devious Machines for sponsoring this video, collaborating with me on this pack, and giving us all Infiltrator, which is like one of the best plugins to ever exist, I think. The pack is available now as a free download. You can get it with the link right down there. I hope you enjoy the sounds. Let me know what you make with them. And of course, a huge thank you to you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And of course, as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.